Governor Ned Lamont announcing today he was notified by the Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, that Connecticut has received approval of a presidential emergency declaration. This all in response to the damage and the extensive outages throughout the state. Governor Ned Lamont has also activated the Connecticut National Guard to respond after the storm. And 2020 has been quite the year for the National Guard. In fact, in March and April, it was deployed to Fairfield, New Haven and Hartford counties all to set up emergency COVID field hospitals. Then from May to July, the Guard helped get PPE and coronavirus test kits to a Connecticut stockpile. Today, the National Guard stepped in to help clear roads and pathways for power crews from Eversource and UI. The Guard also bringing an excavator to help get rid of any debris that may be blocking crews from getting to those power lines. Eversource is now estimating 99% of its customers will have power back by Tuesday, a week after the storm hit. According to the power company, Eversource expects to make significant progress by the end of this weekend. Eversource says it expects many customers will be back on the grid before that Tuesday time frame, and they will have less than 1% of its customers left to get restored by that time. Taking a look at the difference between Wednesday and today, after whipping winds and the wild weather died down, more than 700,000 outages were being reported across our state. Today, Eversource says crews restored power for more than 552,000 customers. Today, the governor assessing the damage around the state, specifically in Danbury and in Westport. Fox 61's Tony Terzi is live right now with much more on what happened there. Tony. Aisha, good afternoon. Live here on Imperial Avenue in Westport. Beautiful neighborhood, beautiful town, which has just been devastated. Here behind me, some of the sites of a spot where Governor Lamont, uh, Senator Blumenthal, first selectman Jim Marpy, also on hand taking a look at the damage. And the first selectman said the town just experienced one of the worst storm related incidents in the town's history. He says uh, damage was unbelievable. Winds topping 70 miles an hour. At one point, about 98% of the town without power. And now a whopping 85% are without power. And he says that Eversource's response was woefully inadequate. At one point, we had over 200 roads that were blocked. We're down to maybe 100 now. But there are people, residents, that we cannot get to, houses we cannot get to, with, uh, with safe public safety equipment. I was shocked though, Eversource said, we'll try and give you a town by town breakout of uh, how we're gonna get um, your electricity resolved tomorrow. Tomorrow? You can't even tell us when my town might get electricity until tomorrow? You can hear the governor fired up. Everybody we spoke to in Danbury and here in Westport today completely fired up about this. Um, again, as you heard uh, a few minutes ago, President Trump late last night called the governor. The governor said as he was putting his head on the pillow after a glass of wine in Hartford, saying that uh, Connecticut is one of the first states to receive 100 percent reimbursement through FEMA.